Instagram, this is what it looks like. It's so disappointing because I, I wanted to love it. I, I'm going to use it with my hand because that's what, <laughs> that's what she does. So. It got red, it got sp like spotty, like small like pustules, like they weren't big spots apart from this one. Today I'm going to be talking to you and giving you my opinion on a very popular toner. It's Korea's number one toner. It is the Anua Heartleaf 77% Soothing Toner. Bam. This is what it looks like. I have been seeing this toner all over my TikTok and it's meant to be really good for helping repair your skin barrier. It's meant to be really soothing. It has... Um, what's the word, like antimicrobial whatever property, so it's meant to be good for acne, it's meant to control your oil, it's literally got so many benefits around it, and it's like because it's sensitive and soothing and all of that jazz, it's good for any skin type. My skin was at a point where I was feeling happy with it and I was feeling confident to try and introduce a new product, so when I saw this toner, I was, there's one lady that I watch on TikTok all the time, I will post her, her TikTok here because she does this seven toner, uh, which is a Korean method, and she uses seven toners, and I knew it is the one that she recommended for people starting off for the first time, and starting off for people who have sensitive skin, and she influenced me, she influenced me strongly, so I brought the toner, and now I'm doing my own review, because I have some things to say, guys, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the clip now of the first time I used it, I think I maybe put in like, I think I did like two or three clips. Um, so we can go through that. And then now it's like three to four weeks later. So I can give you my honest opinion and I can explain to you what happened to my skin basically. Yeah. Not giving any spoilers away, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. It might look weird that I'm wearing a bralette, but I want to put this on my chest because that is what the lady does in the video that I saw on TikTok. So it arrived today, a new Heartleaf 77% soothing toner. <laughs> I don't know, don't know why that took so long. So yeah, I'm gonna use it with my hands because that's what <laughs> that's what she does, so I'm gonna do it. So this is what we're looking like, by the way. Um honestly, my skin has actually been really good recently. I started using a new moisturizer and it has I think it's like basically really helping my skin barrier but I definitely still have some redness there I still have some like little bits of irritation they have reduced everyone says that you're meant to be able to see a difference within one week so I'm so excited to see if it's true um but yeah doesn't smell like anything at all in the video she just pours it on her hand and then just like dabs it over her face so let's do that I'm in a bit my bedroom so it's gonna get a bit messy Oh, it feels so moist. It just feels like water, like literally, like, well, a bit thicker than water because you can sort of move it around. Doesn't have any smell at all. I'm not getting any like tingling or anything that's going to suggest that I'm going to react badly to it. I have the most sensitive skin around here at the moment, so I'm just going to keep an eye on how I feel in that particular area. But yeah, and it's dried on my hands as well. It's not sticky, it's got like a little bit of a residue, but it's not sticky or anything. I might start off with just once a day and then like just to see that my skin reacts just for the first couple of days and then increase it after that. Um. Yeah, I'll do that, but I will let you know when I start to increase it to two times a day and if I notice a difference. But yeah, so far, so good, because there's no burning, which is amazing. <laughs> so, I've been using the Anua toner for about a week now, and I can definitely notice some changes, so I wanted to talk to you about that. Firstly, I have just done an LED face mask, so that's why I've got like a red mark. I don't know if you can actually see it. I have a red mark on my nose and I picked my face a little bit, so that's why it's a bit red up here. But um, it's this evening, the evening, so I'm due to use it. 
I would say that when I last checked in with you, I think I said it was a little bit... Oh no, I think that might have been on TikTok actually. Basically, the first two days that I used it, I thought I was going to have a reaction to it because my face started to get progressively redder. But I also had exfoliated my face um, like around the same time and I usually get red from exfoliation anyway. So I basically think that that was just because of the exfoliation because I've continued to use it and I think I'm safe to say that my skin is enjoying it. Um, I have been putting it on like this, like patting it on and I'm going to have to go up. I've also been putting a bit on my chest when I'm not in short sleeve tops um, <laughs> just because, well, the, the girl, the lady that I saw who suggested it was putting it like on her neck and her chest and I don't use any skincare on my chest so I just thought why not um but yeah so far I think the things that I've noticed is redness I think is working definitely I'm just going to continue with the rest of my skincare whilst I'm talking um I do think my redness is going down I do think that I can like ha I'm seeing minimised pores, not so much around my nose area yet because they're like where my most obvious pores are, but I would say around my, like on my forehead I'm definitely seeing it, I just put that on without a mirror and I put on way too much, um, and yeah I'm not like feeling any sensitivity, I, I think I did for the first couple of days just around the side of my nose where I had a bit of I've basically like a broken skin barrier but I think it was just like more concentrated on that area um but I just been putting on some like extra cream on that area recently and it's definitely helping so yeah I'm about a week in I'm seeing like the results aren't massively different yet but I'm seeing slight improvements and also my partner even said to me oh your skin looks good and I was like, yeah, well, that's because I'm using a new toner. Obviously, he then completely checked out of the conversation. Okay, welcome back. So that was my experience with trying the toner. I started using it two days, uh, twice a day. And then I thought, like, obviously, that might be a bit much for my skin. So I thought I'd cut it down to one day. About four, five days ago, I noticed that the... Because I mentioned in the, in the clips that I just showed you... I mentioned that I was getting a little bit of redness, I was getting a bit of irritation. I suffered with perioral dermatitis about a, maybe like a year and a half ago now, and it took me such a long time to get rid of it. It was around my nose and around my mouth, and it has started to come back around my nose. And I was like, oh, like, it could be because of the exfoliator. I used a exfoliating scrub, which I know is not recommended for people with rosacea and anything like that but I used it because it does help my forehead and stuff but that's a different story so in my mind I was thinking that's why maybe I got a bit like on my nose because I usually keep it like just like around my face not in the center not in the sensitive bits so I was trying to make myself think 